In this DreamHost review, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about DreamHost before deciding if this hosting provider is the right one for you. I will provide you with the most comprehensive review. I will break down the pricing structure and show you how to get the best deal currently available. Next, I will guide you through the entire sign up process and judge how easy their platform is to use. I will then grade their performance based on the page load speed and uptime from the DreamHost plan that I purchased. And lastly, I will provide you with the pros and cons and my honest recommendations on if or who should buy DreamHost. And at the end of this video, I will give you a very special offer if you decide to pick up DreamHost through my link below. I'm gonna give you my six figure blogger course for free as a bonus and a way of saying thank you. Now let's get straight into this review. Click on the link in the description or type this into your browser. It will take you to my special DreamHost discount page where you will get the best discount DreamHost is currently offering. Full transparency, this is an affiliate link. I will receive a small commission at no extra cost to you while you get a special discount and my six figure blogger course for free. So it can be a win-win situation for the both of us. I will be comparing their shared hosting plan Although DreamHost does offer other types of hostings like VPS, Manage, Dedicated and Cloud Hosting so they can support you when your business grows and you're ready for an upgrade. DreamHost has two hosting plans. With the starter tier, you are limited to just one website. However, on the higher plan, you can have unlimited websites. Another notable difference is the SSD storage for the starter plan is 50 gigabytes but it is unlimited on the higher plan. A worthy feature which DreamHost provides on all their plans are the free automated daily backups and free domain privacy. Many companies don't provide these two features for free. They try to upsell you on this, but DreamHost is very good and giving it away upfront for free. So overall, the decision is very simple to make really with DreamHost. If you only need one website, go for the starter plan. But if you need multiple websites, then the unlimited plan is the way to go. So now I will choose their unlimited plan for this tutorial to test them out. Now in terms of the domain name costs, you know from all my videos, I'm very strong on not purchasing your domain names from any hosting providers as they can cost up to two or three times more than buying it on namecheap.com which I do myself. However, DreamHost is the cheapest domain name provider for a hosting company that I've seen. You can get your domain name for as low as $6.95 for the first year. This is actually cheaper than getting it from Namecheap.com, which I do. However, the second year then is $15.99, which is a little bit more. So in the end, it works out roughly about the same. So if you think you're gonna go with DreamHost and stick with them for the long term, then by all means, buy the domain name with them. And you also get the free domain name privacy just like you do with Namecheap.com. So there's nothing wrong with getting your domain name with DreamHost at all. I highly recommend you do so if you want the easiest option. For me personally, I'd still go with Namecheap. So I'm going to select, I already have a domain. Now DreamHost has three different payment plans, the monthly, the yearly, and the three year plan. So this is another refreshing thing in the domain industry where they always want to make you buy three years as it's normally cheaper. But DreamHost is charging you the same price for the yearly and the three year plan. They must be confident with their products, I guess. So for this tutorial, I'm just gonna choose the yearly. Now we can come down to their additional options. I do not suggest you do the Dream Shield protection as there are free plugins that you can use to replace this option. And for $3 per month is fairly expensive. So I'll untick that. And once you're happy with everything, just click on submit order. The overall pricing score I would give DreamHost is a nine out of 10. They are a really cheap hosting provider starting at just $2.59 per month and they provide you with all the features you need to get started. They even give you the automatic backup feature for free on their cheapest plan. This is one of the more important features to me and many other hosting providers don't give this to you on the cheapest plan. They try to upsell you instead. 
So well done on DreamHost here. I did take one mark off them as they don't offer a custom caching plugin similar to other hosting providers like A2 Hosting or SiteGround. This feature would further increase the speed performance of your website but is missing with DreamHost. This would not matter if their overall speed is still high but there's only one way to find out and that is to test it and I will do just that later on in this video. So keep watching to find out. Right away from their homepage, you can see it looks very easy to navigate with the custom interface compared to the cPanel that a lot of other hosting providers use. The design is also very clean and simple looking. Now let's go try and install and create our WordPress website. So I'll click on add and manage hosting. Click on add hosting to domain, type in my website and click on fully host this domain. And that's it, my website has been added. Now the next step is to actually install WordPress. So I'm gonna to go to domains, click on website. You can see my site is here now. So I'm gonna click on manage and install. And I'm gonna just install the normal one. Let it load. And that's it. You can see it is very simple to create your WordPress site. I love the fact that they don't try and upsell you on anything while you're trying to install your site or create new emails. Now let's do a couple more things. Let's see how easy it is to install the SSL certificate and create an email account. So I'll go to SSL and click on add. Select this certificate, the free one. And that's it. Okay, and now we'll do the email. So you go to mail, click on manage email, click create new email address, choose the name, choose your password, and click create address. And that's it once again. So all these three things just look very simple but now let's confirm and see if everything worked properly. So I just opened my website and you can see here my bare bones website is working and the SSL certificate has been applied successfully. So that was really clean and easy to do. And I love the fact that DreamHost didn't try to upsell me in any step of that process like some other hosting providers do. So overall, I would score DreamHost a 10 out of 10 for setup and ease of use. I really can't fault them on anything in this area. I think all users, especially beginners, would love how clean their new interface is and just how easy it is to navigate and do things to your site. I'm very impressed. So after I have installed the basic WordPress site, I went ahead and tested out the speed of the bare bones website using GT metrics. The result is 1.3 seconds. This is a great start, even though this is not the fastest hosting provider in my tests, I must say they are very close. So now I will take it a step further and add some design elements to it to increase the page size. And don't worry if you are overwhelmed looking at this, my course that I will provide you for supporting the channel will guide you through this step by step. I'm also going to install some free plugins to speed up the website. WP Fastest Cache, which is for speed optimization. And Short Pixel, which is for image optimization. And lastly, I will install the free Cloudflare app, which will also increase the website performance with their CDN. This will make it more comparable to what you would do in real life. The speed is now 2.6 seconds, which is once again not the fastest compared to the top performing hosting providers in my tests, but it is still more than acceptable speed and they passed the Google recommended site load speed of 3 seconds also. Now I have also been monitoring the stability performance of DreamHost with Uptime Robot and can report that their uptime for the last 30 days is a perfect 100%. This means that they reached their lofty standards as they promised their user 
a 100% uptime guarantee. In fact, they have not had any downtime for almost two months straight, which is very impressive. Overall, I would rate DreamHost speed and uptime performance an eight out of 10. I took two marks away for their speed as it was a fair bit slower than the fastest hosting providers. But their uptime reliability, however, is second to none. So well done to DreamHost on that. DreamHost provides 24 seven customer support through email and live chat. I would test them out by asking them these three different questions on live chat. Firstly, I would tell them that I have been infected by a virus on my website and ask for their help. Secondly, I asked them a quick question about their domain name renewal costs, but I made sure to choose the wrong question category. And lastly, I asked them if they could do me a favor and install an SSL certificate and Cloudflare for me as I am a complete newbie and have no idea how to do this. Here are the results. For the first question, they were willing to help, but they had to forward me from the live chat support to their specialist by email. He did tell me it was going to cost money to fix the issue, but if it wasn't a big one, they were willing to do me a favor and help me fix it for free one time. So overall, I was happy with the result, but it did take a bit too long and passing on over to the email support to get everything sorted. For the second question, I was a little bit disappointed because I asked them as a new customer, and if you're not an existing customer, they don't have live chat for you. So what I had to do was email them the question. But on the positive, they only took 15 minutes to answer my question and they gave me the full answer with the links to more information if I needed. So the answer was very satisfactory, but not having live chat was a bit disappointing. And for my third question, they did help me out, but they were not willing to install it for me hands-free. They were only happy to guide me step by step, but I still had to do it. So overall, this was okay, as they still helped guide me and was very friendly, but they just didn't do it all for me when I asked. With regards to their response time, I contacted them at three different times of the day to make sure I get an overall average and not just a biased fast response time during their off peak hours. So the three times were 15 minutes, seven minutes and two seconds and two minutes and 10 seconds. The average of those three times turns out to be around eight minutes wait which is definitely a little bit high for me. I think the max wait time for any company should be kept to under five minutes. Overall, I would have to score DreamHost support six out of 10. I would say their support was average. It was not great, but it wasn't the worst either. They had a decent response time, but the quality of support was lacking in terms of the support team's level of knowledge and know-how. And they also lost more points from me because they did not have 24 seven live chat support for new customers looking to sign up with DreamHost. So I wasn't really happy with that part. So let me first start off with the cons. DreamHost only has two server locations, which are both located in the United States. So for anyone with their main source of traffic coming from anywhere else in the world, the website speed will be much slower and DreamHost would probably not be suited to you. The second point is their support staff technical knowledge was lacking and were not able to provide the level of service compared to other hosting providers. Their live chat support is also not available for new customers looking to sign up with DreamHost, which is a negative here. The first pro that stands out to me is DreamHost's speed and performance. They have a decent website speed comparing to the price you pay for the service and their 60 days straight of no downtime is amazing in itself. I would say they are a very reliable hosting provider and one you can trust. The second big pro is their intuitive backend system, which I believe is much easier to navigate than using cPanel. This may not be a big deal for someone who has been building websites for a while, but it is a big plus for beginners just starting out. The next unique feature of DreamHost is their 97 day money back guarantee. This is actually three times longer than most of their competitors. They obviously must really believe in their product to have this as an offer. And lastly is their pricing. They are really transparent and don't really try to upsell you anywhere. They also have one of the cheapest shared hosting prices going around. Overall, I have given DreamHost an average score of 8 out of 10. They are a solid, reliable host with a very clean user interface and acceptable speed. So this is my recommendation for you. 
If you're a beginner looking for a solid hosting provider and an easy to use interface, then DreamHost is a very solid option that you should consider seriously. However, if you are more advanced and are looking for more features and better performance or want better support, then I don't think DreamHost is the one for you. So do you like the level of detail I'm providing you in my reviews with all the stats and figures? If so, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more quality content just like this, which I release every single week. Now, here's a quick question for you. Who is your current hosting provider and what is your page load speed with them? Let me know in the comments section below. Here's a quick note regarding my special bonus offer. If you decide to pick up DreamHost through my link, you simply just have to send me your receipt to bonus at .com .com and I will send you access right back to my bonus course. It's that easy. Now, I think picking the right hosting provider for your business is such an important starting step. So if you think DreamHost is not the right hosting provider for you, then I recommend you check out this hosting alternative, which I recommend and use myself. However, if you're happy with DreamHost and ready to proceed, then check out this one. And I'll see you over in that next video.